Hello everyone and welcome to A Slice of My Life. It is Mail Call Time from Damn Designs and I want to say that this is a very special package. Well, special for this channel because generally whenever I receive a mail call from Damn Designs, it's generally a spinner. But this time, it is a pair of knives. It's been a while man, it's been a while. I've been waiting for these knives. I'm so excited to get them in my hands. And a big shout out to Adrian. The hype is real for these because I've watched reviews of these knives, you know, when the prototypes were sent out to knife reviewers. Cause you guys know I've never considered myself a knife reviewer. But finally it's here, I jumped the gun on these and I cannot wait to experience what they are for myself. Now the idea here is to make this video the first of two because there are two knives in this package but I only want to kind of do an unboxing of one and then the other one will be put aside and recorded right after this video as a separate unboxing video you know what I mean so uh, let's just stop all the banter crack the package open and see what's in store here so it looks like a couple of hard cases and it's got the damn EDC logo yep no longer just damn designs but damn EDC emblazoned or laser etched onto this and it's got the uh the knives marked out here. So this one here is the yokai because basically it is the basilisk just with a tanto blade. So this is the yokai and this one here is the wraith and it's blue, black, carbon fiber, G10 scale. So this is the laminate version, black hardware, satin M390 blade. And of course, we also have a couple of COAs here. So yokai goes here and the wraith goes here. I apologize if the frame has shifted somehow or if the lighting settings has changed a little bit because I had to stop myself from the previous part. I actually went on too long of a ramble because you know I was talking about these two after just taking them out of the envelope and I haven't even unboxed this yet but I was just kind of talking and then I decided to take out the COA here and then I remembered yep this is supposed to be an unboxing video of just the Wraith so I'm gonna put the yokai aside but I'm gonna leave it here in the corner so you could see it peeking out uh, I've not yet opened it I just wanted everyone to know I've also not yet opened the Wraith I just took this out of the packet so you've got a microfiber cloth as well as a COA inside this little packet here and the coa looks like this it's wraith wr i don't know what this is 012 blue black carbon fiber g10 scale satin m390 blade uh signed by this signature looks like a letter p and a letter s and if that's the case then it is by patrick silver so shout out to you patrick i mean of course the man behind damn designs is adrian but also patrick so yep certificate of authenticity and we've got this little damn designs logo or the damn EDC logo kind of emblazoned. Let me see if I can get the settings too bright. Let me see if I can darken it a little bit. Bring the brightness down just a bit. There we go. So there you could see the damn EDC logo kind of just debossed in. So I'll put that as well as the COA aside. And let's take a look at this box that the knife comes in. It's a solid, very, very solid plastic box. Like I mentioned earlier, it's got two clasps here which is pretty cool. We've got some writings here. It says WRL012, same as what's reflected on the COA as well. Then we've got this, I believe this is laser etched here. So it says Wraith, blue, black, CF, G10 scales, black hardware, satin M390 blade. You've got some attachment points here on top as well. Just flip this open like that. Pretty straightforward and a moment of truth. Here we go. Oh, wow. Wow, that is nice. Okay. Okay, cool. This is nice. Oh, wait, wait a minute. This is something new. I've never seen this material before. So I think literally it says blue and black carbon fiber G10. I think this really is a standard carbon fiber weave, but the resin is kind of replaced with G10. I think if I'm not wrong, if someone correct me if I'm wrong, but I need an expert to do that for me because, you know, I'm no expert in this kind of material stuff, but definitely sure looks like it. We've got the damn designs logo here. XO or the damned EDC logo. Yeah, it's a liner lock. Pocket clip on the back. Black hardware. We've got a bit of lubricant all over this thing. So I'm going to be using this to kind of wipe the lubricant off. Some excess. You can see some on the screw of the pocket clip as well. Got to get rid of that. Let me just close up this box. Oh, wait. Seems to be waterproof. I can totally repurpose it. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is awesome. This is the pick and pluck type of foam. Can you guys even see the separation? Looks like I have to bring the brightness back up, adjust the brightness a little bit. Yeah, see that? How awesome, it's pick and pluck foam. Okay, that's cool. Okay, really, really nice box. I'm gonna be repurposing this for sure. So I'll put the COA and the cleaning cloth here. Taking a look at this, and up here we got a hexagon style pivot pin. And it's got a concentric, uh, I guess, repeating hexagon motif in there. Black backspacer and it's got a very cool nice discreet lanyard slot right here so your lanyard goes in and it comes up but i don't know if 
this is too small for 550 paracord gotta try you know gotta try but for any 330 or 375 paracord it should fit in there flipper tab oh okay so flipper tab is a little bit sharp you could see some of my skin being scraped off already of course i have to admit that i don't have the best skin in the world got some dry skin going on yeah a little bit sharp here on the jimping and the jimping up here on top of the knife is actually not as sharp as the jimping here on the flipper tab yeah you guys can see the aesthetics yeah you see how it fades up here that's real carbon fiber man it's that that natural grind i love it like this kind of thing it's just unique you know this really gives a very unique touch to it i like it oh okay so the slot for the torx driver goes here and right out of the box i've got a little bit of lint in there but blade centering looks to be you're not the best leaning a little bit towards the show side just a little bit and i do see a little bit of uh, what looks to be the serialization marked out on the underside or the inside of the backspacer so i'm gonna be Opening this up, uh, I'm actually quite excited. My hair's standing a little bit. Just, here we go. Oh, oh that, that was good. Okay, that was really good. Wow, okay, I've got to do that again. Sorry guys, it's really, oh, that's so smooth. What? What? Let's see if it can drop shut. Oh yeah. With a little bit of coaxing, yeah, sure pretty job shutty but what this is awesome this action here this action is awesome look at how snappy this thing is i just gotta push down on it i don't have to flick it this way just push down wow okay 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 now that it's deployed let's take a look at the lockup lockup looks to be pretty okay i know it's hard to get on camera because it's a liner lock it's so small in there i like the fact that this recessed area is cut out a little bit deeper in so it's easy to reach the lock bar right there cool ah oh, it's got some skeletonized scales you can see it from the inside i know i can see it but i don't know if you guys can but the liners in there are all skeletonized so that's awesome and we've got that serialization going on can you guys see that damned w r l 012 i don't know what the l stands for though wraith it's just w r but l hmm not so sure okay now moving on to the blade this is the grind on the blade guys it's a one cliff sheep's foot i think this is more like a sheep's foot uh, yeah because it looks like a sheep's foot right more so than a one cliff i mean i'm no expert i'll say it again but look at that oh man this is awesome it's got a swedge up here so jimping leading down to a swedge going down to this reverse tanto and then that cutting edge with a nice really slightly curved belly and what's interesting here is that this saber grind it's not a hollow grind this is a flat saber grind going up here if we just those grind marks i almost wanted to say brush marks but these grind marks are going all the way in the same direction as with the flats now for most knives that i've seen so far the flats and the actual grind here feature different directions of grinding so this is actually quite unique i've not seen this before like in this application so it really gives it quite a hypnotizing look when i kind of bounce light off this thing you guys can see that and it is the same on the other side or with some excess lubrication here so i'm gonna have to wipe it off and what's cool is that you don't have the damn designs logo emblazoned anywhere no maker's mark or anything except for the fact that this blade is m390 which is marked out right there i like this touch man it's really really clean time for a quick size comparison before i tell you a little bit more about the grip and how it feels in terms of ergonomics so i'm gonna leave this bad boy right here and since you guys seen it already this is a size comparison against a para 3 a spider coat para 3 next up is a spider coat para 2 so we could see that the wraith sits right in between the para 3 and para 2 so it should be a good size because i know out there in the market the para 3 and the pm2 are two of the most popular knives this wraith being right in the middle pretty sure it's of a good size you know it's going to be really comfortable in terms of size next up something small but yet not unfamiliar to everyone is a crkt pilar okay, let me just shift this forward a little bit yep that's a little bit better and last but not least is a benchmade mini griptilian the wraith is actually bigger than both the mini grip as well as the crkt pilar so comfortable size not the smallest out there but not the largest as well so we've gone over the aesthetics of this as well as the action those two things <laughs> really really good impression so far now it's on to the ergonomics and i know this is not the best camera angle to kind of display the ergonomics but here we go this is a standard hammer grip and it feels quite okay in a hammer grip not bad i'm actually squeezing quite hard down on the scale itself or the handle itself not too bad but i do feel the pocket clip 
pressing into this part of my palm just a little bit now I'm gonna put my thumb on top uh, this feels a bit more comfortable than the hammer grip why <laughs> essentially these four fingers don't actually change grip but okay now I feel it again I feel this pocket glue kind of pushing into this part of my palm holding it in the pointer grip is not a problem whatsoever and of course I think a reverse grip is not gonna be a problem yeah a reverse grip is actually really comfortable what okay the reverse grip really is very very comfortable because my index finger and middle finger are just sitting on the pocket clip like that and everything else just falls into place very comfortably i like this i like this a lot also i failed to mention but on the blade there is a sharpening choil here not a finger choil but a sharpening choil so you can't really choke up on this knife this is the most forward yeah and like i mentioned jimping up here is quite okay the jimping here feels good good amount of grip not too sharp doesn't feel like it'll bite my pocket when i have it folded but the jimping here on the flipper tab is a little bit sharp still it's even rubbing look you guys can see that my skin here is kind of like scratching off a little bit okay maybe you can't see it but i can and it's not caused by the lock bar not the jimping on the lock bar but it's caused by the jimping on the flipper tab so um oh yeah my suspicions were right so if i have my thumb a little bit up too high when i'm disengaging the lock then the jimping would probably just bite into my thumb like the fat of my thumb a little bit i might disassemble this and then soften that up a little bit with a fingernail buffing pad or something yep i think i might do that because that's a little bit uncomfortable you know just yeah i mean i have to admit that it is grippy for sure but it's to a point that's a little bit sharp it's not too uncomfortable still very bearable at this point of time but that action though that action is just nuts i love it okay i'm gonna try to use my middle finger and kind of snap it what guys okay this is awesome i'm very happy with this purchase and yeah i believe that this is actually damn designs adrian de souza's very first knife design and ambitious yes but pretty darn awesome and i remember way back and i'm talking about like way back from the start when he first released the og triad the one in brass and stainless steel the very very first run he actually shared with me that his ultimate goal actually is to create edc products but you know he got interested in spinners as well and it'd be a good platform for him to break into the edc world and i'm glad that he's achieving his dream he's working towards it very very hard worker that man i mean i tip my hat off to him adrian you are an awesome person and this being your first knife design i, I gotta say that this is actually surprising man i'm really pleasantly surprised the action the design and everything i told adrian if he ever makes a knife design because i was just starting to fall in love with knives i told him once you make a knife design and release it i am gonna support and he knows i kept my promise when he released this i made sure that i got on it asap and that is my first impressions on this everyone at this point of time i don't think i've missed out on any other details so uh, if anything that i've missed out and if you want specs and everything i'll put it on a screen like right now right here including pricing and all that kind of jazz but very happy with this and basically you guys know the drill what's going to be happening next is that i will be putting this on my edc for the next week or so uh, right now on rotation is this guy in my edc so this will be on the edc for the next week and then I will get back here and tell you guys what I really think about the Wraith by Damned Designs or Damned EDC after spending time with it and really putting it to use. And that is it, everyone. Thank you so much for sticking all the way throughout and sharing in this slice of my life. And if you like the content that I'm putting out here, please consider subscribing to the channel. It would really mean a lot to me. And if you do subscribe, make sure that you hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified of any new uploads that I put out. Also, I run a Patreon page. I'll put a link up here to that in case you want to go check it out. And if you do become a patron of mine, thank you so much in advance because it really, really helps me out even more than whatever youtube can you know what i mean yeah because of all those things that's happening now on youtube all that kind of stuff is really really crazy so as i end off the video stay tuned for the next one which is going to be the unboxing and first impressions of the yokai by damned edc i will catch all of you in that next slice of my life and until then gaga boost